Hello! I hope you like comics because I am doing a Fort Bubble haul. Uh, Fort Bubble is a Yorkshire's um, comic art festival and convention. In mid-November I went there with my partner Nick to sell some of his comics. We had a great time and I spent far too much money. Uh, couldn't resist anything with a cat on. Yeah, classic, classic me. I bought a few things that aren't in this haul because they're not comics. I bought a pin, I bought some tarot cards, I bought um, a few prints, um, but the bulk of what I got was comics. So without any further ado, let me show you what I got. So first up, I got Cat Disco 1 and Cat Disco 2, which are two zine comics by Rebecca K. Jones. Um, as I said, I cannot resist things with a cat on them. Uh, <laughs> And I just love the idea of a cat disco. The Cat Returns is one of my favourite Ghibli films, um, so yeah. <laughs> I loved the idea of cat disco and it was just brilliant. Uh, funny, kind of gross in some places, really really cute, loved it, loved it. Read it on the train home, um, read both of them I mean, on the train home. Along with those two I also got the little cat disco appendix for dance moves, which is all cat dance moves. <laughs> it's so cute, it's so cute. I should show you a little bit of inside Cat Disco. There we go. <laughs> so the story of Cat Disco um, is basically about a cat called Mogsley who um, goes out one night in pursuit of a lady cat who catches his eye um, and then discovers this whole secret world of Cat Disco. Uh, yeah, that, that's basically that's basically it. He um, has some fun, parties too hard, gets into some trouble, um, has some more fun. It's it's a good time. It's a good time. Another unpremeditated purchase um, was The Cats That Stared by Claire Hubbard. Um, I haven't read this yet, looking forward to it. Obviously I picked it out because cats. I will read the back for you. One day hundreds of very strange cats invade a town and begin to stalk the locals. Nobody knows where they came from or what they want, and nothing seems to frighten the cats away. All they do is stare. Love, love the idea of this. <laughs> Very much looking forward to reading it. I also bought um, The Gingerbread Man uh, by Claire Thompson. Um, this is what the author calls transient art, where she sort of creates a kind of visual collage um, using objects and takes a picture of it and use it as a, as a backdrop for her words. Um, this is actually a kid's book um, but when I looked at the author's stall I was just so taken by the whole concept of the art that I had to buy it. Um, I would love to try and do something like this myself, I think it would be very different. Um, this author tends to create um, pieces out of already existing objects, nature stuff. I think I would like to try doing something like this for collage. Um, so I think it will come out very, very different. Um, but I just found it so inspirational, I had to buy it for myself um, so that I could, yeah, support the author really for giving me this idea. I think I have seen stuff like that before, um, but something about this in particular just kind of really got my imagination going and that was just really lovely. Uh, then I bought this little book, um, Lavender Clouds, comics about mental health and neurodivergence. Um, I chatted to the author for a while on their stool and just, yeah, really, really loved the colours and the art style. Um, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's really, really pretty. So yeah, I decided to treat myself to it. Really, really looking forward to reading this. Then I had a premeditated purchase. This is by Christina Baczynski. Um, I, I had previously read the graphic novel by um, this author, Retrograde Orbit. Um, I really, really love that. I will link to my review of it, um, which is part of a wrap up a uh, few months back. Um, and so I knew that I wanted to go to the store and check out what else was available. Um, and so, yeah, this is a little box of zines and checklist cards um, for exploring nature. It's four seasonal pocket guides to discovering wild plants for the wild year. Um, so I'm going to open it up now because I haven't I haven't yet and it's kind of like stuck down like an envelope which is really cool um, but you can open yep, on the top it looks like. So cute! Oh my god! Ah. <laughs> nearly dropping zines everywhere. I didn't drop the zines everywhere but I did drop the checklists on the floor. 
So these are little lists of plants to look for at different times of year. And then we have the zines themselves. So this is actually quite appropriate because it's, it's autumn. Or is it autumn? I feel like it's coming towards winter. Um, but yeah, it's about different plants and aspects of nature to look for and enjoy. Um, and yeah, there's also summer wild, spring wild and winter wild. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I will pop those back in, uh, probably in the order of when the seasons are coming up. So I'll pop winter on top, then autumn on top of that, um, and pop them back in the little box uh, so I can read them all later. Um, I think that's going to be a really nice thing to sort of save the uh, seasonal zines so when I get to that point of the year it'll be something to look forward to exploring. Um, and then my last purchase, uh, which was also premeditated because I knew I was going to go to the uh, Liminal 11 store um, because I wanted to buy some tarot cards from them. Uh, they do several decks, which I had my eye on, and they had said they would be con discounts, so I wanted to go. I really love using tarot cards as a journaling tool. Um, I don't believe that they can tell the future, um, but as a tool for like self-exploration um, and journaling and creativity, they're um, really, really useful. Um, they get kind of all kinds of different ideas going in my brain, and I really like that, I really like that. Um, um, so because I was buying some decks, I thought I'd also check out their books, and I was really into um, the idea of this one, The Garden, which is a story of healing and growth for mind through mindfulness and gardening. And I've really got into gardening since um, moving to a house with a garden, um, and yeah, having my own space that I own <laughs> and can um, kind of very slowly build into something I'm proud of. Um, yeah, because of that, I thought this would definitely be a book for me. Um, and so, yeah, I bought it, and I'm really looking forward to reading it. So, that's my little tea bubs haul. <laughs> uh, that's what people are called thought bubble for some reason, tea bubs. Um, and I am really, really happy with it. As I say, I spent far too much money, but I had a great time, and I have got all these comics to delve into later and bring back some of the magic and fun. Thank you very much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. Uh, if you would like to read more books but don't know where to start, check out my free course, Take Out Your Fashion for Reading, Fall in Love with Books, which is linked in the description box below. And also, if you are looking for a quick read, maybe not as quick as some of these comics will be, um, but, you know, something you can read in an afternoon maybe, or just a couple of days, I wrote a novella set during the first two weeks of the COVID-19 pandemic in the UK. And it's called Lucky Unlucky in Lockdown, and you can find it linked below, or you can just go on to your favourite retailer um, online and type it in, and it'll probably be on there. If not, give me a shout and I'll put it up. So that's all for me. Thanks again. You'll see me again soon. Bye!